Hello everyone. Welcome to Indian Economy by Aman Soni. In today's news are, we'll be discussing the important articles related to economy. In page one, we do not have any news related to economy. In the editorial page, the editorial talks about the impacts of the Ukraine co conflict on the Indian economy. We have in the previous news has discussed that the rising oil price would have an impact on the domestic inflation. Now the crude oil prices has gone to one not five dollars, which is a eight year high. So this will have tremendous impact on the Indian economy because this would lead to that importing of the domestic inflation wherein the input cost of goods and services increases the cost of manufacturing increases and finally the output cost of goods and services increases this would have impact on the retail prices and because of the fluctuations even the gold prices has increased the editorial says that this could have a double edged impact on the indian economy because it could affect the trade financing the investment flows into the economy and there are calls for removing russia from the swift global payment system this swift global payment system is a network of banks for the ease of transfers between banks around the world if russia is removed from the swift payment system for all the payments that we need to make to russia through the us dollars won't be happening so for that we need to find some alternative how much does this conflict impact india it don't impact india except for the oil prices and the fertilizers because the impact of petro the import of petroleum from russia are just a fraction of our total oil import bill but the impact would be there on certain sectors like the fertilizer sectors and the oils like the sunflower oil and the exporters of tea from india would also get affected the oil imports from russia is around 1% of india's imports and the exports to russia is just 1% of india's total exports but the sectors which would face challenges are the tea and the pharma sectors but because of the conflict the global shipping rates would increase because of the increase in the freight charges the shipping rates would increase and this would have an impact on the indian trade and the global prices would increase the current account deficit of india and in order to compensate for the increased prices if the government increases the subsidy on lpg cylinders that would also again increase the deficit of the country the editorial finally concludes by saying that rbi has gone for the accommodative stance maybe it is time for the government to cut the fuel taxes on the domestic fuels so that the end customer won't feel the impact of the rise, price rise in the business page the article again goes into details about how the conflict in russia disrupts the fertilizer sector and as we have discussed if russia is removed from the ship financial system we won't be able to make payments to russia in the dollar so for that we need to find some alternative for that the government is having plans to make payments in the rupees for that the government is asking the russian companies to open accounts in the indian banks so that we would transfer the amount to their accounts within the country into their accounts so this would act as a guarantee for those companies that the rupees have been transferred to their accounts in india and the amount remains in their accounts and whenever the situation eases they could con convert the amount to dollars and take it back to their country previously india had used this same system of paying in rupees when it was having sanctions for dealing with iran we can skip this article there is not much importance news for the exam here you just need to read the headlines 
them here that war would have impact on the Indian coffee. Again, the Russian conflict would have an impact on the coal supply. The coal sector is already um, suffering because of lack of the coal for the production of electricity. And now, various sectors which depend on coal generation for electricity like the steel, the aluminium sector would also suffer in the future. But certain sectors like the cement and aluminium which have captive power generation they, they won't get affected that much and here we need to know what are captive power plants generally it is the government plants that convert coal into electricity and sell it to the market but certain industries are allowed to have captive power plants the captive power plants are those plants which are set up by the organizations themselves for the use of their own sake. So if they produce more electricity than what they consume, it would be sold back to the grid, to the electricity grid. But the captive power plants would help the organizations like the cement industry and the aluminium industry because they need not depend on the main power plant and they can have their own small power plant which serve their own needs. And that, that way, even there is fluctuations in the coal market, it won't get directly affected. India seeks urea trade with Iran in rupees. India plans to pay in rupees for its long term urea imports. We have just discussed how India is having talks to pay Russia through in rupees for the imports the same way India is having talks to pay in rupee generally we deal in dollars when we have making the international payments but now because of the conflict there would be foreign foreign exchange fluctuations which would lead the impact on the Indian rupee but if you are making the payment in the Indian rupees there won't be any foreign exchange disruptions we don't need to pay higher exchange rates there won't be any volatility in the foreign exchange we could avoid all this if the Indian rupees is accepted as payment by the Iran. We can skip this news related to Airtel and we don't need to read the news related to Sensex and Nifty. Here we just need to read the heading because we have already covered the news. These are the articles related to economy today. Thank you so much.